What is going on YouTube? It's Andreas here from Symmetry 4 Wheel Drive and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we are going to be installing the last piece of the puzzle for this entire Gobi X bar work install on our 80 series Land Cruiser. So what that is is the rear swing arm spare wheel carrier for this Gobi X rear bumper and that is going to be where we install our spare wheel on the Land Cruiser. Now we're going to take you through all the tools needed in order to fit the swing arm onto your rear bumper as well as the whole process of fitting and installing it. So let's have a look and jump into it. So the tools that you will need to install this rear swing arm tire carrier on your Gobi X bumper are a flathead screwdriver, a small 1 8 ratchet and 13 millimeter socket or a 13 millimeter spanner, a size 6 allen key, a size 5 allen key, some all purpose grease, a large shifting spanner and a 27 millimeter socket. Now you also get with the kit a number plate holder for if there's an instance that your number plate is hidden by the spare wheel carrier and wheel and tire itself. You also get the actual mounting piece for your spare wheel as well as a gas strut to open uh, or assist in opening your swing arm and the swing arm itself with its spindle and latch. Now, there are two other components that you receive with the kit, which are your hard stopper and your catch for that swing, swing over latch or throw over latch. And these parts are supposedly able to be installed after the bumper is already fitted to your vehicle Though I, I find that that would be near impossible and very difficult. So I suggest that you install these two components while the bumper is still off of the car to make your life easier. So yeah, we're going to jump into installing this rear tie carrier now. Like with all of our other components and bar work accessories we are adding to the car, I am going to weigh this swing arm to see how much weight we are adding to the vehicle. So we get a reading of 16 kilograms for the tire carrier mount and the swing arm itself. So the first thing that we are going to do is just take off the split pin that was taped to the spindle of the spare wheel carrier. So here we have the split pin that is for this bottom castle nut. We'll just set this to the side for the moment. Another thing that I suggest having is a cloth for dealing with all the grease inside the spindle. I've got an old pair of underpants but you know anything will do to clean up the old grease. Now we are going to remove this grease cap on the top of the spindle to access the castle nut and split pin on the inside. So if you can see in here, this is the split pin and castle nut on the inside of the spindle that we are going to have to remove just to set the tension on the spindle. Another useful tool for this job is a set of needle nose pliers to get the split pin out of the spindle on the spare wheel carrier. We have now got the split pin out so we can loosen this top castle nut 
with our 27 millimeter socket. If we have a look here now, the spindle spins because we have loosened that castle nut at the top of the spindle. So now what we are going to do is put this whole assembly on the car, then tighten it back up. So first we're just going to remove this bottom castle nut. And then we're going to set this assembly on the rear bumper. Here's our bottom castle nut. So now we have the assembly on the vehicle. We are going to tighten up the bottom castle nut as well as the top one so that the tension is set so that our swing arm swings nice and freely but not too free so we're just going to set that tension up just right so that it swings with a bit of resistance but not too much so now we have set the tension on the swing arm on the top and bottom castle nut and if you have a look here, it swings out with just a little bit of force, but not much. And it goes in once you lift this pin securely. So I think that tension is set nicely. So what we can do now is put the split pin or cotter pin in the top and at the bottom there to secure those castle nuts. So there we have our bottom split pin installed on the castle nut. We are going to move on to the top one now. So we have got our top split pin or cotter pin installed now. So what we're going to do is pack this full of grease so that that stops any moisture getting in and causing any corrosion or seizing or anything like that. And then we're going to close it up with that grease cap after we've packed it with grease. This is the fun messy job now. So this is all nicely packed with grease now, so we can just put on that grease cap to keep all the grease in there. That's all buttoned up, so we can move on to the next step now. So next step, what we are going to do is install the gas strut at the rear of the swing arm. So the gas strut will attach to this tab over here and also mount into the bumper over here. So that is with a 13 millimeter nylock nut and the gas strut itself. So we'll just mount that there and there. So we will basically just mount this gas strut over here and over here. So guys, the gas strut is now installed, so as you can see, it will open, open the swing arm by itself. 
with the weight of the tire on it will just assist you opening it. This nut that attaches on the inside of the bumper for this attachment point of the gas strut is very difficult to get to. It would be nice if there was a nut welded in there and you could just access from the top. But other than that, it went on very smoothly on to the next bit. So next we will be installing this receiver mounting point for the spare wheel carrier onto this section of the swing arm. So what we're going to do is just undo this nut at the bottom and also this nut on the side and remove the side bolt, keep that bolt on the bottom and then install that onto the swing arm. So we will need a 24 millimeter socket and ratchet and then a shifting spanner will do for the side here. A nice feature of this kit from GobiX is that they supply you with lock nuts for the rear mounting place for your spare wheel so that people can't steal your spare wheel which in the case of these is very good because they're very expensive so that is the receiver for the spare wheel installed that's using a 27 not a 27 a 24 socket and a 24 spanner or shifting spanner and then a 17 spanner and a shifting spanner underneath so that's installed now having a look at this latch for this air tire carrier we can see that it's still quite loose so what we need to do is adjust these two nuts on the top of it just to bring this hoop up a bit and then this will engage nicely So that engages nicely now that we've taken up the slack on these top two nuts. Now what we're going to do is just tighten these retaining nuts on the bottom of the thread. So guys, one of the reasons I installed the spare wheel carrier on the right hand side of the vehicle is so that when my 35 inch spare wheel and tire is mounted there I can hopefully still open up the one side of the barn door on the car and miss that spare tire hopefully so we will check that when I fit the spare tire on ideally I would have put it on the left hand side of the vehicle looking at it from the rear yeah so that I can offset driver weight when it's just me in the car and then the spare wheel would be on the opposite side which would then offset my weight being on the one side of the car but just for practicality's sake i think fitting it on the right hand side is better so that i can hopefully open up this side of the barn door as well so guys that about wraps up our video on installing this rear swing arm tire carrier onto our gobi x rear bumper on the 80 series land cruiser overall the install was pretty simple pretty intuitive and easy to pull off by yourself we didn't really have any major issues there it all fitted really nicely onto the vehicle and there was just one bolt for the gas strut that was very difficult to access on the inside of the bumper but once we got around that it was easy and simple to install and in a sense this also wraps up our install series of the gobi x bar work onto the 80 series land cruiser so i really hope that you guys enjoyed that and with that being said i just wanted to send out one more huge thank you to gobi x for supplying us with all of these products and assisting with the build on the 80 series land cruiser so a big thank you to gobi x and the team there now we are going to jump into looking at how the spare wheel carrier looks on the car 
and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to continue watching how this 80 series build progresses and we'll catch you again soon in the next one cheers One last thing is I would just like to once again another useful tool for this job <coughs> so we have got our top cotter pin or Millie stop it <laughs>